Hey guys, so uh, today we're going to start a new video series. I'm going, to, I'm going to solve exercises from Practical SQL book, which I highly recommend for beginners uh, in databases and SQL. So this is a really uh, nice book and the best part is that it has exercises. So I am just going to provide this video series as uh, for you to have as something as some extra material to the book so you try to solve the exercises first and then maybe look at my videos and see how I solved it okay so today we're going to start with a uh, chapter 2 uh, where you, at the section try it yourself there are some exercises for you to do and that's what I am doing right now I am jumping to uh, just a second I am jumping to PG Admin, and uh, the book explains on how you can install it on your machine so make sure to follow everything and also make sure to follow the book on how to create uh, the, the database called uh, just a sec called analysis and you need to have the table teachers with the data already created okay for you to do the exercise you need to install Postgres SQL PG admin and also import the data. Now to see if you have everything in order I'm I'm just going to do a quick select select star from teachers and to run this on Postgre you can run it here or press F5 and as you can see I have everything here I have six rows uh, with teachers which have ID first name last name school hire date and salary so you need to have this data to do the exercises okay so the first exercise asks you to uh, make a list of teachers in each school and we need to write a query that lists the schools in alphabetical order along with teachers ordered by last name a to Z okay so these are all comments so this will be ignored uh, by the database so I need to get all the teachers and I just need to do a simple order by but first I need to order from uh, by school and then order by teachers last name okay so so far we have uh, a select from so we need that part I am going to order by school and I'm also going to order by a uh, last name okay let's uh, run this again and as you can see now first we have ordered uh, by school we have grouped them by school and then we are ordered by um, last name alphabetically since it's alphabetically uh, it is the same as typing in here ascending order okay so uh, if we don't put ascending then it is implicitly implied so I'm going to run f5 again and this is the same result so you can put this ascending or not uh, that's your choice okay so this is the first exercise in the book in chapter 2 let's go on with the next one and I am going since uh, I don't want to run this query again I'm going to comment this and let's go on with the second exercise we need to write a query to find the one teacher whose first name starts with the letter S and who earns more than forty thousand dollars okay so I'm going to do the select all from teachers and now I'm going to use a where clause and I want to check first that uh, the name starts with the letter S so first name where um, first name and we can use both like or I like if we do it uh, with uh, like and then I'm going to search for uh, this pattern so I'm going to search for s percentage but we also need to uh, add an end we need to check for a salary larger than 40,000 okay and I'm going to end the query here let's run this 
and as as you can see we get uh, with first name Samuel okay so we can also use I like and I like means that uh, we can check for this pattern so for the name to start with an S but uh, S but I like is case insensitive so that means even if we put a lowercase s here it will still find uh, Samuel so if I put this lowercase and run it you see I get the same result so uh, this depends uh, on your choice I would prefer with I like because uh, I want my search to be case insensitive okay so this is the second query for the second exercise now the third exercise we need to rank and let's comment this okay we need to rank teachers hired since January 1st 2010 ordered by highest paid to lowest so let's do a select all from teachers and now I want to um, put a where clause so where hired we need to check the higher date the higher debt date should be larger than January 1st 2010 and for the date we're going to use this format 2010 uh, the month is 01 and the day is 01 and all of this we want to order by uh, by salary and salary needs to be ordered by highest to lowest so we need it in a descending order okay so let's run this query and this is all we get so we get all these people who are hired since January 1st 2010 oh maybe we need to include January let's put an equals here okay so that's all the people and they are ordered by salary in a descending uh, order because we want them ordered by highest paid to lowest okay so these are all the exercises for the second chapter in the next video I will continue with the third chapter so try to solve the exercises on your own and then check my solutions okay don't forget to subscribe like share this video if you find uh, this helpful thanks again and I'll see you in the next one bye bye